the loyalty pillar and we're in our video views campaign that we created. So this is a campaign where the objective is to amplify videos to different groups of people who fit into our loyalty pillar. And there's three more segments or ad sets or audiences that I really want you to have in your campaign. And one of them is buyers three, six, five. So, and we created this, when you click edit, you'll notice here that this ad set is targeting people who've bought anything in the last 365 days. And it's running on Facebook, as we do on the feeds, it's not running anywhere else. And we're spending 75 bucks a day targeting buyers in the last 365 days. You'll also notice we don't have any demographic information set because if they purchase from us, we want to target them. Now, what are we advertising to these buyers? Well, you'll notice that what we do is every week we advertise a different piece of content. This is literally just blog content. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one that's running right now. We'll just click the preview button and you'll notice it's just a piece of content. So it's real talk. And if we click see more, you'll see that at the end of every one of these posts, we do link back to the store, but there's no other way to click off. There's no way to click over to our website. You just consume this video. And if we actually view this post, uh, you can see here we go. So we're talking about our Christmas sale here. So every one of these pieces of content also links back to our store. And you can see that when we look at this ad creative here, we'll just click preview. And again, this is, hey, check out this content, links back to our store. So you'd have to click this link above this video to, to get to our store. Um, but for the most part, these videos are just pieces of content. Now, occasionally we'll run like an ad video to this group of people, but basically we spend a certain amount of money each day just amplifying content to anyone who's bought in the last 365 days. And this might overlap with some of your bot X and not Y audiences, but it doesn't matter because it's anyone who's bought in the last year and it works really, really well to amplify content to them. Now we have a course coming out um, later that and it may already be out by the time you're watching this that talks about our content strategy. But even if you've only got one blog post or you do a blog post a month, set it up so that you are targeting people who have bought from you in the last year uh, with a piece of content and you're amplifying a video that's not sales related. It's just about engaging with your brand. It's just about, you know, um, talking about content that's related to the product line or related to the, the market or the experience of the group of people who you're targeting, just content that's brand oriented content that you're amplifying to anyone who's bought in the last year. We amplify that same content to our fans. You'll notice we just use the same exact video, the same exact ads that you saw that are going to the, the buyers to fans of our fan page. Now, one thing to note about this group of people, fans and these buyers 365, and then you'll notice subscribers, non-purchasers, which is another audience we created of anyone who happens to be subscribed to your email list, but has never bought from you before, um, also sees that content getting amplified to them. Um, and we turn these off when we're running a sale campaign. Um, which we'll, we'll do a bonus module on how to run a sale campaign later in this course. But basically, um, you know, for the most part, all the time we are targeting buyers, fans, and subscribers, and we're amplifying content to them. And you'll notice if you look at like these ad sets really aren't created to make money. They're created to build engagement with our community, to have, you know, get FaceTime with our subscribers, buyers, and fans, and also put, put us in people's minds so that, um, you know, when we do run a sale campaign, they've been seeing us in their newsfeed, you know, all year round or for the last three months. And then they get an email from us and they see an ad about a sale. They've seen content being amplified to them. Uh, and, and if we look at how much it's costing, like this buyer three, six, five is actually making really good money. It's making $5 sales. So this year it's made, you know, from 12,000 in ad spend, 146,000 in revenue. So that's really, really good. Um, and then fans and subscribers, you know, they're also doing pretty good. $16 conversions, $20 conversions. So it does, you know, it is, it is monetizable. It does make money, but the goal is really just, uh, engagement and, um, you know, sort of relatedness with your brand and obviously always link every post back to your website because you will make sales and it will also be profitable, but it's just a good thing to be doing for your brand. So the way that you would set that up is you would be inside of the campaign called loyalty video views objective. You would duplicate one of your ad sets in here. So you just click the duplicate button just like we do. And then you're going to want to change the name here to buyers three, six, five, and then you're going to want to leave all this stuff the same, choose your daily budget for that, change the audience out to be anyone who's bought from you in the last 365 days. 
and grab that. Well, that's a lookalike to the buyers. Don't want that, but you want your actual buyers 365 list. If it's been over a year since someone's bought from you, then you probably don't need to uh, target them. So you got your buyers 365 going on there, and then you'd go into the ad section and you would modify the ad and change out the video to be a content related video, not like something that's related to one of your products, but something that's like more uh, content oriented if you're doing blogging. If you're not doing blogging, then feel you know, fine. If you're not doing blogging, you don't have content, feel free to target these groups of people with direct response ads that just lead right back to the store. But this strategy will work better if you're targeting people um, with a piece of content that engages them in a conversation rather than like just trying to direct sell them. So in our loyalty video views campaign, we have our bot X and not Y ad sets for my brand. I have four of those. Then we have our subscribers, non-purchasers who've not bought from us before, but are subscribed to us, our fans, and all the buyers in the last 365 days. So these are the, the ad sets and groups of people that you're going to be communicating with, with messages, video messages, uh, in the loyalty video views campaign. Go ahead and get that set up, and I'll meet you in the next video where we will discuss the next loyalty campaign, which is actually going to be conversion focused. So let's take a look at what that is because it's a really good campaign. It's a loyalty killer. And we're in our video views campaign that we created. So this is.